وحن وصل دي شابتر كا ترانسفورميشن جيومتري وحن سوق هذا نقيب تكواد فيكتس كولوم فيكتس نال فيكتس ماجنيتور فيكتس ما أنتو حن هذا نينا عشر كني لواط أو ترانسفورميشن جيومتري قيب تيس 3.12 فيكتر جيومتري لاين أوتكمز فيكتر جيومتري Vector geometry. Learning outcomes. By the end of the lesson, learners will be able to differentiate vectors from scalar quantities, determine some difference, the law of uh, next, the law of addition of vectors. Now, vectors, the difference between a vector and a scalar quantity is a vector quantity is a quantity with magnitude and directions. Magnitude and directions. And directions. Uh, for example, let's say you have the x and y axis there, and then you draw a line from the origin of that way. So this is north, and then east. This point is northeast. So you can see now this is the direction, and the length of the line is the magnitude. So this one is a vector uh, quantity. So therefore, it, start, it starts from the origin, the line starts from the origin. So we have the, the length, which represents the magnitude there, and the arrow, which represents the direction. Now, a very good example of a vector quantity is uh, velocity, acceleration, force, and so on. So scalar quantity, scalar quantity. Scalar quantity. This one is a quantity with only magnitude. A very good example is distance, speed, and so on. So that is uh, the introduction of uh, the difference between a vector quantity and a scalar quantity. Next, uh, example now. Example. Example number one. Example number one. We have this shape. Now, OB is 2A, OPQ is 2B minus 3A, OR is 3B. Express in terms of A and B as simply as possible. OQ. OQ. OQ is the distance from O to Q, from that distance is OQ. Now, there are two roots. You can follow the root. O, P, and then P, Q. O, Q means move from O, go to Q. O to P, and then P to Q. Or you can move this way, that is from O to R, and then R to Q. Now, this one, O, Q, I'll be using this root, so O, Q will be equal to O, P plus P, Q. So, O, P is 2A plus 2B minus 3a. So we collect like terms. 2a minus 3a is minus a. Minus a plus 2b. This will be equal to 2b minus a. That is vector uh, uh, OQ. The next one is OR, uh, QR. Uh, QR, yes, QR. QR is this root, QR. So QR will be equal to QO plus OR. QO plus OR plus OR. So QO is the reverse of this one, so I will multiply this one by a negative. 
So this becomes a plus A minus 2B and then OR is 3B. OR is 3B. So therefore you get A plus B. So that is again vector uh, QR. Next, the diagram shows a skull and triangle ABC. So this was number one. Number two, uh, a skull and triangle. Uh, AB is 3A, BC is 2B, and then M is the midpoint. Let me try to draw the triangle. So that is the triangle. This is A, and then B, then C. M is the midpoint, and then 3A, and then to B, M is the midpoint of the line. Find an expression in terms of AB for the vectors AC. 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 The distance from A to C. Meaning, you move from A, go to C. So A, B, and then B, C. That is the root. AB, and then plus BC. That is the root. So therefore, this is 3a and then plus 2b. Plus 2b. Therefore, that is now the final answer. Am, am from a to m. m is the midpoint. So it is half of the line ac. Half of the line ac. So half ac. What is ac? ac is this one. We have 3a plus. 2b. So this will be equal to 3 over 2a and then plus b. Plus b. Bm. Bm. B to m. B to m. That is b to m. Bm is ba plus am. Ba plus am. So ba is negative 3a. Plus AM, we know AM is this one. We have 3 over 2A and then plus B. So you look for the LCM of these two, you get 2. That will be minus 6. Minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. And then plus B. So the final answer will be B minus 3 over 2A. 3 over 2A. Example number three. Example number three. Example number three. Uh, the triangle. The triangle. Uh, we have this triangle. We have that triangle. There you have A plus B. This is A, another A, this is B, A, and then C, and then D. The question is, uh, express in terms of A and B, A, D. A, D. A, D. A, D, this distance would be equal to A, B plus B, D. A, B, plus B, D. A, B is A. B, D is A, plus B. So the answer will be 2A, plus B. D, C. D, C. D, C. D, C is this side. So D, C will be equal to D, B, plus B. BC DB plus BC. So DB is you multiply this one by negative. So this will be minus A minus B. Minus A minus B. And then you add plus A. Therefore you get minus A plus A is zero. The answer remains minus uh, B. MN. 
एम एन एम एन एम एन इज द मिड पॉइंट दिस इज एम एंड दिस इज एन सो दिस लाइन इज एम एन दैट लाइन इज एम एन सो एम एन इज इक्वल टू हाफ डी ए हाफ डी ए सो एम एन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल is equal to uh, mn is equal to ma ma plus ac plus cn plus cn so ma ma this distance is half of the line da half of the line da plus ac is a plus a 2a so that is ac which is 2a and then plus cn cn is half of the line cd half of the line cd so therefore da we know ad ad is 2a plus b so da will be the reverse that is minus b minus 2a so this will be half bracket minus 2a plus minus 2a minus b plus 2a plus half cd cd is this one dc is a uh, dc is minus b dc is minus b so the reverse will be C, uh, cd will be the reverse that will be plus b next cancel these two you get minus a minus a then minus that will be multiply these two you get minus half b plus 2a plus b so we collect like terms minus a plus 2a is a minus half b plus b is half b positive but half b positive half b so that is example number 3 example number 4 Example number four. Example number four. Now example number 4 is the line a triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle L is the midpoint of BC M is the M divides the line A LA in the ratio 1 to 5 and BC is B BA is Q express the following in terms of B and Q Now first of all let me draw the, the isosceles triangle that is the isosceles triangle we are told l is the midpoint i draw a line from l to that point so this is a this is b and c this point is m and this point is n 
Now the question is BC is BC is B. So BC is B. And then BA is Q. BA is Q. BA is Q, this side. And we know that this is an isosceles triangle. Now you are told express LA. LA. So LA, this is number four. So LA will be equal to, L to A will be equal to AL, LC plus CN or LB plus BA. So LA will be equal to LB plus BA. So LB, we know that BC is B, so therefore LB will be half of the line BC or CB, therefore so this will become minus half B plus this line which is Q. So the answer will be Q minus half B. AN, 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 A to N, that is this line, A to N. A to N is, we are told the ratio, this is 2 to 5. This is 2 to 5, and this is 1, this is 1 to 5. 2 to 5 or 1 to 5. So the line AC will be equal to 2 out of the total 7. 7 is the total. 5 plus 2, that is 7. The line AC. The line AC. And AC is the same as uh, AC is the same as BA. So therefore this will be 2 out of 7. 2 out of 7 bracket minus Q. B A is Q, so A B becomes minus. So therefore, you multiply this one by Q, you get minus 2 out of 7 Q. 2 out of 7 Q. Then, L M, the last one, L M. L to M. L to M is here, L to M. So L M will be 1 out of the total, the line L A. So 1 out of 6, the line LA. And uh, 1 out of 6, the line LA is Q minus half B. So therefore, you multiply this, you get 1 out of 6 Q minus 1 out of 2 olive P. You multiply 1 out of 6 times Q, and then 1 out of 6 times minus half B, you get this. So, I should come to the